Today's review is going to be, well, not just a review, it's going to be testing benchmark synthetic ink. Did you understand what I said? Well, I didn't anyway, but this is the laptop making noise. This laptop is called the Aspire 15 VX. Now this is a 16.6 .6 inches FHD LCD LED laptop. So it's quite a bit of a mouthful. It's sporting eight gigabytes of DDR4. It has a GTX Nvidia 1050 graphics card embedded in this thing. It's also got high definition HD camera, which is inside them when we have a look. It supports, it's, it's a gaming laptop basically, but just a bottom end one. Well, not a bottom end one, more of a affordable version. And it looks really nice. As you can see, it's definitely a finger magnet. More on that later on. And yes, it's got free cell battery in there. We're going to be doing synthetic benchmarking and just doing some Adobe testing as well because loads of people use it as professional stuff. And we're going to put some games on there and see how well it performs as well as it's rocking Windows 10 as well. And we want to see how well this laptop performs. That's the whole point. And is it good or not good? Let's find out, shall we? So Acer sent me this laptop and said, here you go, you can have our laptops. And I was like, thanks, cheers, mate. And then I thought, you know what I'm going to do? It's not technically mine, I've got to give it back. But I'm not going to give it back. Do you know why? Because it's already with me and I'm going to keep it. So what I did is I snuck, no, I didn't snuck. I sneaked into the back of the laptop. So hopefully Acer don't go really mad, but I actually wanted to show you how you put an NVMe into the back of the laptop, as well as putting a terabyte or a 750 or a 480 or a 280 or a 60 gig, whatever. I wanted to show you how to put hard drive storage in the back and RAM access as well. So what I did is I took all the screws out to the back of the, the laptop itself. Please don't go mad, Acer. Anyway, and what you do is you pull it off. And there goes the back. That is the back of the laptop. So this is where it, all this magic happens. So it's got a bit of a padding there, which is about two mil thick, two and a half mil thick. And it keeps everything down and steady and everything like that. And it looks cool and everything like this. Then basically, I've put my hard drive in there. Well, my SSD, which is a Toshiba SSD 480 gigabyte SSD. And I put that in there because it's got all my benchmarking stuff on there. And I took uh, their one out and I threw it away. I didn't really, I just, I still got it. I promise, still got it. Anyway, I've got uh, some free cell battery here. And then you can put your memory here and you can see there's an extra gap to put another eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM inside here. Maybe you can actually go a little bit higher. I'm not too sure. But anyway, your cooling goes here, which is your acting cooling. And it's got heat pipes that are connected to the CPU and the graphics card on this motherboard. And it actually dissipates through the back of the screen, which is you would have a, oh gosh, I just dropped my SSD out of the way. You would have it facing like this with the screen upwards and basically the heat will be transferring up through the back. But anyway, so as I said, heat pipes, everything like that. NVMe right here. So you can unscrew it and you can put your own faster NVMe if you choose that you don't really want to have that. It's so simple. You can unplug this to get your, the connect the SATA cable out and connect to the SSD in. And the NVMe is a screwdriver away, unscrew, and then it flaps up, and then you put it out and put new NVMe in, and the RAM is just kind of the same. You just um, pull the sides out, and then you stick your RAM in, no problem. Everything's all connected. Then you've got your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth connected onto the motherboard as well. All your connections and stuff like that. If you need to change the battery, because the battery's not lasting very long, because that's the point. When some people get a laptop, they're like, oh, my laptop is really, really good, but it's kind of dying it doesn't last very long well all you need to do is buy a new battery and you can change it yourself so it's all good 
No, no, it's pretty good. I like the back of it. Anyway, that's enough of the back. Don't need to know anymore. Right, I'm putting your uh, thing back together, okay, Asa? I'm not trying to break it or nothing like that. But people need to know. Anyway, underneath, to stop your um, desk from getting scratched, you've got rubber feet. So you've got one, two, three, four rubber feet. And then you've got all this dissipation heat at the bottom. And this laptop's pretty cool. I like the front of it. It's not as good as their other uh, laptop. It's actually nicer. I think it's more of a reserve and a sort of gaming one as well. At the same time, I really like it. I'm going to go in the BIOS quickly to see if you can activate any LEDs on the front here. Not LEDs, but an LED that is red. But... I don't even know, I don't know. On their Predator range, you can activate it and it's really cool, but I don't know about this one. But anyway, you can see, oh, it's a finger magnet. Please, laptop people out there in the world, sort your damn laptops out. <laughs> so basically, what I mean is, stop making them a finger magnet, it's really annoying. I hate saying in every video, even though it looks really nice, it looks like a brush aluminium. It's not a brush aluminium, it is like a plastic, but it looks like a brush aluminium. And it's got this nice little accent here, and it says Aspire VX. And I know I said in the start of the video that it was a, a, a Sp Aspire 15 VX, but it's actually Aspire 15 VX or something like that. I can't remember what I said now, but don't worry about it anyway. So yes, it looks really good. We've got air vents at the back of the laptop itself, which looks pretty good. Looks and takes shape like the little Predator. It's really nice and light. It's not too bad. You've got LED activation on the front here, and this is say hard drive activity, Wi-Fi, battery. It's all there in the front there, and just speakers. Oh my God, the speakers, the sound system on here sounds really quite cool for this laptop. Now, as I said, it's an affordable laptop, so it's around six fifty to seven hundred pound. And I'm going to tell you where you can buy it because it will be somewhere in the video and then you'll be able to buy it because it's definitely worth it. It's got um, a GTX 1050 in there, which is quite good. And obviously it's got a terabyte hard drive in there and a 128 gigabyte NVMe, which is good because you've got NVMe, which is absolutely faster than SSD will be. If you've got like four SSDs, maybe you might manage to get the speed of NVMe, but maybe not. But anyway, it's really nice. And we're going to be testing it with benchmarks and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, it's got, you want to see inside, okay, hang on. Right, so inside, you've got a screen and it says 1080p. So this is the FH, this is the FHD uh, LED LCD screen. And I'm going to show you it on later on and show you if it looks pretty cool and all that sort of stuff. And then you've got chiplet keys as well as you do. And this is what makes it a little bit gamey, fired, laptop sort of thing. It's because it's got the WAS um, chiplet keys there and they're all enabled in red. Don't even know if they illuminate like the printers do, but it's still really nice. And you've got a few little added functions on there. Oh yeah, hang on, before I even go any further about that. So you've got two USB 2s on the side there, HDMI port and a Funden Bolt port on the side there. You've got SD card slot there and you've got USB 2 and the power out or DC, AC, don't know, but it will power your laptop and keep it going. Anyway, it's Kensington lock there and your 3.5mm headphone jack if you decide you want this. And it's got a normal trackpad there with no added buttons or cutout buttons and yeah, that's pretty cool. And it just says Aspire VX15 here, USB 3.1, Acer, True Harmony Sound, I guess, DDR4, faster data rate. So basically your normal spill on there and that. But yeah, other than that, the laptop looks pretty good. It's got a full keyboard and then you've got your num locks there. And yeah, it's, it's cool. I like it, but let's let's test it. Let's test it, and then uh, we'll find out what it does and see if it's great or not. Because if it's not great, I'm not gonna be happy, am I?
Things I do like about this laptop and things I don't like about the laptop. Now, basically, about the laptop I don't like is a finger magnet. I hate things that just get... Look. Just look. What? Why? Just... Anyway, won't talk about that right now, but... It's a finger magnet. You can wipe it and it'll clean away. But then, as soon as you put your fingers back on it, it'll start getting dirty again, won't it? And also, there's a finger magnet inside as well. So when you're using a finger trackpad, finger trackpad, when you're using the trackpad, I should say, it starts to get grubby as well. But all of those things are just simple. You can easily clean them anyway. Now, what I do like about it, I do like the keys. It is really nice. It does perform very well with gaming and synthetic benchmarking and actually video editing. It actually surprised me. And obviously it's got a GTX 1050 in there, so it's got a, a few CUDA cores that can help with video editing. It has got a Core i5, CPU in it, which is a 7300 HQ. It's not a bad CPU. It's quite good. Cooling's really good on it as well. It doesn't burn your like legs or anything like that. It's great for gaming, obviously. Nothing much really to say about it. it is, I think you should just go and buy it. It's got a 1080p screen. No, actually, let's talk about the screen. So, that's one major thing I don't like about it, is the screen. The screen's okay if you're looking directly at it, but when you're actually 
So say you're looking at the screen and you're directly at the screen, and then you move it like that. The screen looks wishy-washy. I, I, I don't know. That, that's annoyed me a little bit because it's like, an FHD 16.6 .6 LED LCD screen. Now, that's a mouthful, but it's not, I don't know. Compared to the Predator, obviously it's more expensive, but their screens are a lot more, much more higher quality than what this is. Don't get me wrong, it looks good when you're looking at it and you can plug it to a TV, you still get full 1080p and everything like that. Thanks. And other than that, it is really cool. The buttons are really nice to play around with. The track pad is not my kind of cup of tea. I like to have like buttons I can press or it's a little bit more sensitive and everything like that. And if you've got a problem with a track pad, this laptop's not gonna be for you, but this is very affordable at 650 to 700 pound. Yes, I would rather buy it and it's really light because I've been holding it in my hand for ages. And you get the courtesy of two USB 2 and two USB 3s on the side there. And then you get a 3.5mm jack for the headphone. You've got SD card slot if you're into video, editing and photography and all that sort of stuff. It is a pretty awesome laptop. But anyway, I'm not going to say any more. I'm quite proud of what it did. Anyway, what do you think? If you think it is really good and everything like that, leave your comments down below. And I would like to speak to you about this lovely laptop and any other laptop you want to hear or you want me to get hold of. Leave it down in the comments down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you dislike it, just don't. But if you did honestly dislike it, just... Uh, I'll understand, don't worry. And don't forget to share this video for other people to buy a laptop or buy this laptop and see my face. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.